Once upon a time, there was an old lonesome woodcarver named Geppetto who lived by himself with only a cricket for company. One day an idea came to him, and he exclaimed, Since I have no son of my own, I'll carve a boy out of wood. After Geppetto carved for a while, his tool slipped accidentally. Oh, Geppetto! That hurt! What? Who, who said that? I said, Papa! But this block of wood, it talks. Of course I do. And my name is Pinocchio. I'm made out of wood, it is true. I'll be like a sun, though, to you. I'll work and I'll study just as everybody expects that a good boy will do. I'd be like old boys if I could. And I hope that someday, if I'm good, I'll close my eyes tightly and say my prayers nightly and maybe not always be wood. If you are well behaved, someday, the day with the blue hair will turn you into a real boy. But you must go to school, Pinocchio. Fine, Cricket. I'll study ever so hard. Geppetto spent all his hard-earned money to buy a school book for Pinocchio and sent him off to school. Down the road went Pinocchio. As he neared a town, he came upon a puppet show. He heard music with a voice singing. Why not stop for a show with the music attracting? Watch the puppets acting, leaping to and fro. Harlequin, my name, here is Rose and Punchinello. He's a jolly fellow, you'll be glad that you came. Harlequin, his name, I am Rose. I'm Punchinello. He's a jolly fellow, you'll be glad that you came. Pinocchio wanted to rush into the puppet tent, but a ticket taker said, admission is 25 cents. Please, mister, I have no money, but here, take my book instead. Giving up the book that had meant so much to the woodcarver, naughty Pinocchio rushed into the tent. Hello there, I'm Pinocchio. Oh. Who's that? It's the puppet master, and he'll make you work. Run, Pinocchio, run. Poor Pinocchio was caught by the puppet master and made to work hard with the other puppets. At night, they were chained up, and Pinocchio did nothing but dream of escape. Oh, don't you wish you were home, Pinocchio? If only I were. Hush, I hear someone singing. Get that house, that home, and fly for his Pinocchio. He cannot see through fear filled eyes, so on his cricket he relies that on I go. Searching in places high and low, off the I call Pinocchio. Mr. Talking Cricket, Cricket, help Pinocchio at last. Here, let me unchain you. Oh, thanks, Cricket. I'll never run away again. Off they went, and before morning came, they were home. Oh, Pinocchio, Pinocchio, what's happened? Well, on my way to school, a big bear seized me. Your nose, your nose, it's growing. He's telling a lie. That's why his nose grows. The truth, Pinocchio, the truth. Oh, well, I, I saw a tent, and I stopped. Your nose is getting shorter again. It must be the truth he's telling. And uh, I gave away my book, and... Uh, Oh, I'm so sorry. And so Pinocchio learned to tell the truth, to go to school and never to run away. One night, many weeks later, the blue-haired fairy came to his bedside and sang softly. Want to be a boy, but not a fool. You'd know no greater joy if just you could. And so at last I'll take heed of your plea. And now when you awake, a boy, you'll see. And that's how Pinocchio, the wooden puppet, learned to tell the truth. He became a real little boy and lived happily ever after.